Hey, so I wanted to take a second and film like just a, hey, here's my workspace video. I haven't done really anything video related in so long and I wanted to kind of show you off what I have. I also have this really cool uh, DJI like little movable, uh, I guess you can call it like a gyroscopic controller. It's basically, you know, there's a million of them everywhere, but they're kind of cool and you get a nice smooth moment, movement. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of give you a, a look at my workspace and maybe you'll find this helpful or interesting, maybe not. So uh, first things first, I just got this Husky table from Home Depot. And the reason I got it is because it has a nice wide workspace. I think it's almost, it's not quite five feet, maybe right around then, but it's like 60 inches across. It's made of wood, it's real wood. I was able to mount all the electronics to the back of it, which is really nice because, you know, you usually have those dangling cords. You can see underneath. Let me just show you. I still have some, but they're all tucked up underneath and the, the power adapters up under there. Anyways, you can see some of my pens and markers and stuff down here. Um, and then it's got these great flat drawers in it. And you can look here. And I have one drawer. It's basically just like all the straight up drawing stuff that I have, pencils, pens, scissors, my wallet, <laughs> pretty much everything. A lot of templates and rulers are down there. And then there's a shorter drawer, which I kind of hope was like a long drawer as well, because I've been really great. They are big enough for a tabloid sized paper. This short one though is only about five inches deep and Actually, I use this for like my work work. So it's got a like a lot of paper, my masks, <laughs> hard drives, some pens, but mostly work pens like ballpoint pens. Anyways, so has enough room for my uh, light table, my light box, which used to be on its own like sketch table, which is kind of a problem because, as you guys can imagine, like you have two tables it means you really don't use one enough. There's um. You can see I've got some paper on that. Like as a trick I learned a while ago, if you uh, throw some paper on top of it, it tends to have a feel closer to like a sketchbook or something like that, or just drawing on top of like a, any old book. So having that there kind of helps it. Also, the bright light doesn't tend to get in your eyes as bad. Got my handy pen and pencil carrier kit, some hand lotion because you always need that. My terrarium, which is doing very poorly. <laughs> Thank goodness there's no animals in there, but it's, I think, got a little heat shock. It's been too close to the window, and it's been so hot lately. It's doing not so good. Some of the plants are doing all right. The moss loves it. Um, and then here's my Mac, obviously. I've got, uh, I just pulled this up just so I could show something. Was the um, kind of illustrated field guide I'm working on called the Ghost Woods. Um, and just to kind of give you a look at it, you can see it's very much a and d style inspired, like, here's what you'll find here, field guide, kind of like, imagine through the perspective of an adventurer, someone who's just like really seeing this for the first time, a scholar. This is one of my favorite pages, the faithful companion of Sir Fergus Longtail, this little Pomeranian chow mix guy. He's really great. I love how his colors came up. And I'm working on this right now. I've got a lot of the painting nearly done. I have to digitize this splash page. All right. And then continuing the tour here to the left, it's not very exciting, but, you know, water bottle, uh, cell phone holder. My son made this. This is great. Some paint brushes because I am working on watercolors. And then, just don't mind that. Back here, some more stuff for, like, pens and pencils. There's where my brushes go. I, I don't actually use it right now just because... I'd rather be able to carry it and travel with it. Anyways, and then I've got this nice blank wall that I'm not really doing anything with <laughs> that I need to just because, well, it doesn't make a lot of sense enough to have it and not have my art up on it. Anyways, so moving over, you have to excuse you in my living room and kids stuff. So uh, this is really uh, in here, I'll show you one of the ones I'm currently working on. So this is for that splash page I just showed you. This is this 
in pencil and then covered in just Sumi ink. I've got another one here. So there's more of that grumpy rock fairy guy. And you can see here there's a little there's a little skull here that'll appear a lot of times in the in the book. And hopefully it'll be like kind of like find six of these. All right. And then below you'll see I've got the workforce. 7720 by Epson. Um, it's not particularly great for high fidelity printed content, but it scans up to 13 by 19. It's got a great scan bit up here. It has a fax style feeder as well. And then it has two trays. Um, one that accepts the 11 by 17 and the other one that accepts the, uh, what do we call that? Just the letter size paper. Or really any size, you know, you can go up to A4. They have a lot of ability. Anyways, and then um, kind of the big portion uh, of this is my bookshelf and such. I got my iPad up there. And then you can see tons of drawing supplies. And then all the various books and stuff that really kind of I use for inspiration, for reference, um, just to read, really. Lots of stuff down here. Spectrum's down there, more paper. Um, we'll go over here past the uh, child's <laughs> uh, stroller. And you can see Disney and Star Wars stuff down here. Um, the Etherton Brothers collection, deluxe collection. Love that stuff. The Stransky book is fantastic. Some of my sketchbooks. Some Art of Lowish. Um, she's fantastic, obviously. And Fu, he's a Seattle-based artist. He's great. Uh, I'm going to do a book. I'd love to do a book review. Um, I've bought so much stuff lately. I uh, haven't really been able to show it off. And then I've got some more of the designs type stuff. I've been doing a lot less buying in this stuff just because I don't do quite as much work in there as, as I used to. You know, I used to do a lot of letter form stuff, a lot of logo type stuff, and it's just mostly been illustration lately. All right. And then we've got some learning and reading up here. We've got the character design quarterlies. These are great as well. Um, you can get those through uh, 3D Total, PlayStation, obviously. Uh, and then moving down here, we've got kind of the Imagine FXs that I've just deigned to keep. Man, these things pile up if you don't do anything with them. They, I think once a month is almost too much. <laughs> and then Dungeons and Dragons stuff, huge inspiration, obviously. Humblewood. Uh, I swear, you know, these people are going to think I'm ripping them off with the stuff I'm working on right now on the Ghostwood stuff. I might need to think of another name just because that came out. And I'm like, that's exactly what I want to do. <laughs> it's like animals who are adventurers, you know. So I'll have to figure out some way to differentiate mine from theirs. It's a great Kickstarter. And then there's some great, you know, just um, kids books that I've decided to keep away from the kids so they don't ruin them. And then games video games and movies and some tablets and stuff so yeah that's it uh that is the workspace that's where i do everything mostly um not particularly busy and my little phone's misbehaving now so you can see my work chair there just happened to land on that and then back to here and you'll look and you'll see i'm in the living room and for some people, I think that's kind of annoying. I think my wife wants to wants to strangle me. But really, the reason for it is because, uh, you know, the kids can all go to their room. My wife can go to our room. My daughter's got her own room. But really, the living room is closest to our Wi-Fi. It's where I do my work work from work from home, you know, during the quarantine. And just makes a lot more sense than trying to closet myself away upstairs and really having to deal with the technical issues. So anyways, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll have some uh, posters and some art to show. Oh, this table does go up and down, which is really cool. There's a little place for underneath here. You can put it a little right there. You put a little crank in and you can raise this to standing level, which is kind of nice. I just don't do it as much as I should. Well, anyways, uh, thanks for taking a look. Um, hopefully this won't get edited too much. I'd love to just have this pure stream of thought and see if anyone watches it. Uh, appreciate you watching. I wouldn't mind a subscriber like if you found this at, at all entertaining <laughs> and, uh, hopefully I can put up more and stay tuned for more 
illustration, uh, vector illustration especially is one of my specialties, or just kind of like slice of life stuff. All right, thanks.